I love Tana's related content, but let's face it, sometimes it can make a day page feel like it's yelling 12 different things at once and none of them is useful right now. And I see this all the time. People discover related content and they want to add all the sections they can, but really soon it becomes a messy distraction instead of a place where you should feel clear and calm because your day page should surface what you need when you need it at the right time. So I created the focus mode method that filters your related content depending on what mode you're in. It's easy to set up and today we're going to build it together in three easy steps. First, we'll create a focus mode field on your day page where you can switch between modes. Second, we'll create a handy button that switches between those modes without ever having to see that field. And number three, we'll filter your related content sections to only show when you have that focus selected. And in just a few minutes, your day page will be quiet, calm, and a beautiful place to stay focused and get work done. But before we jump in, if you don't have time to watch endless YouTube tutorials and you just want to build a high performing, digital workspace that works harder than you do, then check out my Tana Fast Track course. It will get you up and running in Tana fast. First, you'll learn all the fundamentals in less than an hour. Next, you'll choose from our six core workflow templates that are simple, plug and play. There's not 86 super tags to deal with. You choose what templates you need to customize your workflow. And you also have our TFT community to ask questions and get direct help from me, plus a load of other resources. Over 500 people have already taken Tana Fast Track and loved it. So so if you want to get on the fast track, I'll leave a link in the description below. And now let's get into the video. So this method is a little bit of a hybrid method between Theo's show and hide related content. And when I was on a coaching call with one of my clients recently who has a lot of different areas and we didn't want to have to have her day page cluttered with everything and we want to be able to focus on what she needed to focus on when she needed to focus on it. So we came up with this method and I think it's really, really ingenious, especially if you have a lot of different areas in your life. If you are using Tana for personal and work, if you're using Tana in your day job, but you also have a side hustle, even this could work if you want to filter your related content by your weekdays and your weekends. The sky's the limit and it really does depend on what modes you want to see on your day page. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is we want to set up a field on our day page where we can switch between these focuses. So you want to come to your day super tag and just go option or if you're on Windows Alt, shift and click. That will open it in a new panel. And then here in content template, what we want to do is we want to create a new field. Okay, so you can click this button down here or you can just go shift period and that creates a field and we want to call this focus mode. You could call it focus, whatever you like. Okay, then just click this icon and turn this into an options field. And then here in predetermined options is where you want to list all of your modes. So for this one, I'm just going to put personal and work, but you could list as many different modes as you need here in the options. And while you're here, you want to come down and hide field. You want to go always. So what that means is that it will always just show up here in the hidden section. And we actually don't want to ever really see it because again, we don't want our day page to be cluttered, but we do need it in order to make this work. So the second part of how to set this up is to set up a command button on your day page that switches between these modes. Okay, so again, we're going to go into our day super tag. So option shift and click, close up your content template and come down to AI and commands. Okay, now we're going to come into the full menu because we want it to show up here when the node is expanded. Okay, so Firstly, we're going to create a group and then we're going to create our commands within that group. And that basically means that you'll have a drop down where you see each of the modes and you can switch between them. OK, so first thing is let's just call this focus for now. You're going to go command K and type in group and convert to group. OK, then you can open this up and you'll see a little box surrounding it. And this is where we can put our commands in. OK, so the first command is going to be personal. We're just going to type personal. And we're going to convert that to a command. And this command, we're going to add the module. So if you go at here, uh, we are going to set a field value. OK, now in this configuration, and let's just open this just a little bit more. In fields to set, we want to grab our focus mode field. So you're going to come and put your cursor anywhere where it says focus mode and just command C for copy. And then come over here, create a new field, shift period and then paste that in. OK, so you've got focus mode there and then we're going to go personal. All right, really easy. Then close that up and close that up. 
and then we want to duplicate this for work. Okay, so Command K, duplicate. We're going to call this work. Oops. And then we're going to go edit and change that to work. And then if we come over here, we've got our focus button. And if I go personal, it changes it to personal. And if I go work, it changes it to work. Really, really great. So if I go back and forward, now you can see focus mode is closed. I literally never open this up. I never see it, but I can switch between them and I know it's switching. Okay. Now we've got that working, but we now need to tell Tana what related content sections that we want to show or hide in which focus mode. Okay. So to do that, we are going to add a node filter to our related content section. So if you close up this AI and commands and open up advanced options, you can see your related content. So in your related content, what you're going to do is for each of these searches, or if you've got a reference here, you're going to put your cursor in the name, go command K and then add contextual content. Okay, this is how you add a node filter so it shows up in different circumstances. So we're going to add a field here, so shift period, and then go node filter. And then we want to add our focus modes, so create another field inside, so shift period, and you can type focus mode, okay? So focus mode in day. And then we're going to choose, let's say I've got this search that's looking for everything I need to do today that's going to be work. All right. And that's only going to show up if work is selected. Okay. So at the moment, focus mode is work. If I change this to focus mode personal, that disappears. All right. So let's continue on. And let's say this one down here, today's task, let's say this is my personal tasks. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is have a think about what's the related content you need on work and what's the related content you need on personal. Um, or if you want to see things on both, just add both. Okay. So this one, let's say it's personal. So we're going to go contextual content. Then we're going to add our node filter and then we're going to add a field for focus mode and we're going to go personal. Whoops. That was the wrong one. Personal. So now you can see because we're on personal, we're seeing today's task down here. And let's say I want to move this up. So it switches between to do tasks, to do today, let's call this work, or you could also put this in your description, work tasks, and let's put a description here, personal tasks. All right, so now you can see that I have added all of the node filters to each of my related content, and they're either work or personal, or if you want to do both, just add both into the focus mode field here. Okay. And you can see that it comes up, this calendar comes up whether I'm in personal or whether I'm in work. Okay. And so you can see how quick it is to switch between those modes and really get focused on exactly what you need to see at that time. Now you also might want to have a command that hides all of your related content, no matter what. So often I'll be working on my day page and I just don't need to see related content at all. And I don't want it taking up space. And so I want to hide it all. So the way to do that is we just want to add one more command that hides everything. So if you come to your day page, so option shift and click, then close up your content template, come down to AI and commands. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create another one of these, which is called hide convert that to a command. And what we want to do is again, we want to set the field value. Okay. So set field value and we're going to choose our focus mode field. Oops, not that one, this one, and we're going to leave that empty. Okay. So it's, it's going to revert the field back to nothing is in it. And so what happens then, because all of our related content is set to show only, when a focus mode is work or personal, then when you set this to nothing, you get nothing on your day page. But as soon as we go back to personal, we're seeing personal. As soon as we go back to work, 
we're seeing work. So it's really quite easy to get this set up. And like I said, you can apply this to any kind of modes that you want. Okay. So if you've got different areas that you work in throughout the day, if you've got different roles that you have in your job, if you are in mum mode and then in work mode or in dad mode and work mode or in family mode, whatever it is, set these up and you will be able to get exactly what you need on your day page when you need it. Now, I hope you can see that this method of related content is kind of like having a cake and eating it too. Now you can have all the related content you want, but it shows at exactly the right time. And speaking of daily nodes, if you want to see how I structure mine, then check out this other video where I walk through my entire daily note system for 2025. And don't forget, if you want to build a high performing tunnel workspace without all the midnight YouTube tutorial watching, then check out the link in the bio. And as always, if you want more tunnel content like this in your feed, like and subscribe to the channel.